show me everything. Peace, Deep Minds. 255 here. Today we're talking about DBFZ battle system changes and universal changes. And I'm not going to get into the season three, season four controversy right now. I just want to cover these changes. So let's do this. Change number one is air guard cancel. So now when you're being attacked in the air, if someone does a special, like a Team Gohan leg drop, I would, I want to see how it works with the combos when you're in a corner and they're coming down. I guess they call it their staircase down, whatever. See if that's safe, but they, they Apology Man suggested that uh, it's still safe for that, that you can still uh, block that and be fine, and maybe they'll hit you with a heart afterwards and launch you. Number two, there's a new guard cancel, and it's called Guard Cancel Vanish. It costs two bars, but it kind of puts your character, the other character that you hit with it into a knockdown state, and it doesn't do the wall bounce, and it can be followed up. It cannot be followed up with an assist. I want to see how it works, but uh, more defensive options for this game is great. Lord Knight is probably going to have a fit because he says that it has enough. Number three, key charge has been buffed. So you can literally do it from full screen. It, it, they say it, it looks like it's more on um, instant or uh, reaction. Maybe that's the case, but it looked like they were having a hard time doing it. But the two biggest things is if you're reflecting, you can go into uh, key charge. And if you start your key charge and you reflect it, you can actually dragon rush from a very long portion of the screen. So in other words, your dragon rush gets these um, gets more screen coverage. It can cover more of the screen now. Four jump properties have been changed. So every move in a game that leaves you in the air gains this uh, floating jump property. That's really helpful for uh, Goku Black because he can now do mix-ups easier. They also, this new property also allows people to do what's called moon jumps or the high jumps. So if you're like dashing, as long as you're holding X and you jump, you'll automatically do a high jump. And you'll automatically be able to uh, float down. And this is supposed to also make re-jump combos more easy to do. Six, the next change is Z change off of any special move that hits or blocked attack. Um, the thing about this though is that it has a 10 frame landing recovery. So it's not easy to do mix ups uh, with that. So it loses some mix up potential. Seven. Limit breaks. So they gave limit break sparking a buff. When you're in limit break and you're in sparking, if you start a combo, the timer freezes essentially. Uh, if you got to watch this show in uh, Yasha's match, I believe against Wade, you saw that in action where Goku, base Goku, was able to do his full jumping key blast combo. And his sparking time remained the same after that character died. So that's going to make it easier for people to rob you during games. I'm not exactly excited about that. For some reason, they felt the nerve uh, to buff and nerf C assist, C assist. So for change number eight, C assist have been buffed, but they've also been nerfed. Number nine, still dealing with Z assist have had some of the chip damage removed. And then number 10 is Vanish now is invincible from the beginning of the move if the opponent is performing a Vanish. And then EX moves are only receiving penalty for time. Uh, it's suggested that double supers are back <laughs> for the, the one of the final changes I'll be covering here but only in certain limited areas. So it's not going to be all the time like it was in season one. Anyway, uh, what are your thoughts about these changes, DeepMinds? 
I just want to get it out here. The patch is supposed to drop tomorrow, depending on your system, depending on your location. Times will vary. Some people might even have it at midnight tonight. But um, just a few of my thoughts here. The ones I'm most excited for are the jump properties, the Z change off of any attack, and the um, the air guard cancel and the new guard cancel because I I I disagree. I don't think that this game had enough um, defensive options, and I think anything that breaks up that whole season two leaves you in the corner for 30 or 40 seconds. It looks kind of cool at higher levels, but when you're dealing with that on more casual levels, it's, it's not fun. It's really not fun. But I'm really excited about the Z-Chain. Looking forward to seeing some pretty interesting combos off of that. Although they look like they kind of scale just from what I was seeing. But we'll see what happens. My most hated system change is this reward for Limit Brick. Because it's like if you're already losing a match, I don't think you should be extremely rewarded. Um, and kind of like Tyrant and Damascus was saying during the Yasha versus Wade match... This mechanic is so strong that they were suggesting that until Limit Break Goku got killed, the match wasn't legitimately over. And what happened? That's exactly what happened. Limit Break Goku came back and beat all three characters. And I'm not really a big fan of um, rewarding people for losing. Yes, you could say it's another different skill developed and that's great and everything, but not I'm a big fan of it. Anyway, this is 255. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to have a post-patch discussion once we get to see all these things live. All right, this is 255 out. One.